Time with co-star Alex Pettifer in the sci-fi action film I Am, number four. I love this about this movie. Tell me about meeting Spielberg and him wanting you for this part. Uh, it was insane. It was through a friend in casting at DreamWorks, and he had mentioned the project, but the timing wasn't going to work out until they brought it. The production just came up quickly, and it worked out, and here we are today. Well, they were having a hard time, right? The director was having a hard time finding... Uh, Sarah. His, his Sarah, his perfect girl, and he couldn't do it. And then, so they finally, he saw, he saw you and was like, I got to have you. Let's say that. Right? I like that. That's yeah. what I'm hearing. <laughs> That's yeah. what I read. Well, you only had three weeks to get yourself to Pittsburgh to start shooting. It's true. Thing. It came to, it's an actor's dream that it comes together so quickly and you hear the next day. Actually, oh, yeah. I might have even found out that day. Yeah, it was very quick. Like you walked out and maybe in a couple hours I later. I think so, yeah. But what about with Spielberg? Was it a phone call? Was it a meeting? What did he say to you? It was at you a charity him? event last year. And he said, you know, we have this project, and I don't think the timing is going to work out, but we've been talking about how great you would be for Sarah. Because um, he's a Glee so nice fan. to meet you, and, and that was good enough for me. I didn't even focus on, I, I remember what, I didn't, you know. <laughs> it was, and, then, uh, and then when it came to be, I was like, okay, well, I should read the script. Um, and it was so fun and entertaining. And I, I had so much fun reading it, I didn't process everything. So when they're like, okay, and here's the house you're going to fall off of, I was like, what do you mean? And I was reading it as somebody else, you know, <laughs> like, somebody else is playing this Sarah girl. Uh, no, that was me, you know. So didn't process that almost the entire thing was shot at night, even though every scene said, you know, exterior night. house, <laughs> night. <laughs> you know. You'll be up all night. So, so it's always good when you The, the young that. Alex Pettiford, the, the guy who stars <laughs> with you in this thing, so he, he's very cute. Uh, <laughs> uh, what yeah. was it like meeting him? Did, did, it, did it connect off the... Oh, there's a shot of him. Mm. Well, meeting him from the beginning, was there, was there a connection? Did you feel, wow, I'm really going to do well on screen with this guy? I didn't know. The good thing, the, the surprise of it all was I was glad to know he had a sense of humor. Yeah. Because sometimes as an actor, you Google somebody. And because uh, that's the only way to kind of you Wikipedia and all those things. And you think, well, maybe this is true, maybe this isn't. Um, and he's so serious in all his photos because... That happens a lot, too, as an actor, because you're on a carpet and there's 10,000 flashes going off and it's blinding. And you're just like, okay, if I keep a straight face, at least I'm keeping it cool. So I saw all these very serious photos of him, and I thought, oh, God, please, you know. So wait, you Googled him before the movie. Like, let me check this Oh, yeah, out. before I met him, just to make some judgments that may or may not be true. <laughs> but the British you know? tabloids are kind of tough. I mean, did, did you go in like, oh, dude, this guy's like a... This guy's no I fun. Know. Hi. Hi. No, because he was... He was just goofy from the get-go and, and very excited about the project, which oh. that's half the battle. Oh, oh goodness. Geez. Hello. Yeah. That looks like a tough day at the office. Uh, that was one of the last days, yeah. And it was pouring all day long. You Chemistry had been building up for a while on set. That yeah. was one of the last days. He's got a very sultry look. You own, on Glee, you own this look. It's the... the the chin <laughs> comes pouty. down, and it's the pouty, <laughs> sexy look that slays the boys. We call it the All About Eve. Ryan Murphy <laughs> and I were talking about the character before I started shooting, and he said, are you familiar with this film called All About Eve? I said, yeah, of course. He said, watch it again before you start shooting. And I just noticed all the eye movements and all the catty. Oof. You know, so fun to play. Quinn is just the best. You get to kiss all the cute boys on set. <laughs> just throw me a bone. Who, who's the most fun to kiss? Cord me... over street. We got, oh, yeah, we got Macaulay. Corey. Who else? <laughs> Macaulay. <laughs> then, like, come on. Fuck, there's got to be one. You Frank know, and Teen. Honestly. Does he like that name? Frank yeah, okay <laughs> all the nicknames. Honestly, and I know this sounds weird, but while it's happening, you're, it's this weird time void where you don't even realize what's happening. You're just thinking about how many seconds should this last? Why is this light so close to me? Uh, where is this? And it, you don't even process Diana, that. I need a name. I swear. One name. Come I on. I swear. Just Who's tell me, there? Macaulay. Oh, please tell me. Macaulay. I gotta tell you. Best I love these guys on Glee, but after the pedophile on I Am Number Four, <laughs> hey. did you see the look that he had? That movie star he look. I mean, up. smoldering. Smoldering. I mean, Rooting. that's. Just, those are boys, and this is a man. And this is a man. Uh,